Before we begin the video, please subscribe and hit the button bell for you to get notified when we have new exciting videos to watch. Um, if you go uh, culture and pretty much everything that you see here from arts to uh, the games and uh, uh, livelihood pretty much revolve around uh, the cultivation of rice and it's not just uh, any ordinary rice we call it heirloom rice now um, indigenously we call it tinawon and each cycle in the cultivation of the tinawon has its own distinct uh, practice, rites, uh, significant events. In connection with the cycle uh, are born uh, the uh, artifacts um, which start, uh, started as uh, very uh, Utilitarian. I mean, these were used uh, as utensils or uh, in connection with uh, what they needed uh, to perform the rites uh, and in their daily living. There is no plate before, okay. so they have to put the rice here. Mm -hmm. Then the family members gather around, then with their spoon from the hookup or this basket. They eat, but this kind of basket also is used during rituals. Yeah. Before the performance of a ritual, this has to be placed at the middle, wherein the items needed are placed here. Like for example, we have the rice, a piece of meat, and then on top here, we put the, the clothing of the, the dead uh, members of the family. Then money, if there are, because the money before were coins. Yeah, coins. Then betel nut for them to come and share. And then the piece of meat where and there are other attached uh, parts of the chicken yeah, on top here before they would perform the ritual. Then another function of this engagement. Yeah the engagement uh, uh, ceremony uh, ceremony if we say it yeah there is the hookup that they would bring to the house of the woman, the girl, from the man. I this uh, square basket is Ifuga Winnower, this one. Now it is used to clean the pounded the rice. Now this, that is the basic use. Now the other one is to let cool the glutinous rice. After it's cooked, cool it there before you try to put the yeast or binokbok and then put it here for fermentation. But we have here the leaves of the bananas before you put the glutinous cooled rice. Now this is for catching fish in the rice pan. Uh, yeah, it, there are fish sometimes in the rice pan. Yeah, the first uh, fish that we had in Ifugao is the mudfish or the dolog. Now these are fish traps. Fish trap for the yuyu. The basic use of this is fish trap for the yuyu. Now this is the alawin or the 
the shell baskets. So uh, when you go to the rice field, you clean. There are some shells that you could gather. Originally, we don't have kuhul. We have the batikul, a very delicious one. Indigenous shell. Yes, ma'am. Like the kuhul, but different in so the women hung this one. So as they try to clean in the rice pan, and they yeah, if they get put it there. And included also during harvest when there are eggs of the the birds that hide among the rice at the rice stalks, you put it there. So all things that you gather which are edible, you put it there. Are these all the same? Yes, all the same. And this one is for the fish in the river or in the streams. There is a kind of fish, the short ones that is found in the river. So we use this kind of fish trap. Ah, there's another basket, ma'am. Ah, yes, the basket. Ah, this one. Okay. The spoon basket. We hung it there at the side of the native house where after eating in that rice basket, with they wipe the spoon and then put it here. That is uh, originally what had been do, done. Uh, there were no patteries in the uh, in the place, but uh, instead of clay, they used wood as medium for uh, vessels. So you have wooden plates, wooden uh, ladles, and uh, uh, that sort. Yes, these are the indigenous spoons. These spoons are made from the coconut shell. They try to shape it like a spoon and use it. Now we call this kinatagang. Kinatagang. Now this is the wooden spoon. Now before it was just full like this. But later because of art, they try to put some images or like that. They try to make it artistic like this one. Now, these are the different uh, bowls, wooden bowls, wherein, uh, of course, uh, the shape, we have the scallop shape, then we have the plain rim, different shapes. Now, now we have only this one, we have our native uh, term for this, batang eh. Uh, it is a twin plate, they say it in what I have read. <laughs> twin plate, but we call it in Ifugao, Batang. We're in twin. Twin. Yeah, this is, is for, for sauce. sauce yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, these are the ritual materials. Yeah. When you say ritual materials, I mean, is that. Uh, for ashes? Or for wow. When they try to perform rituals, there are rituals that needed this one. Like, uh, for example, harvest. They needed this one. Including the bulul. Yeah, including the bulul. So, they would put there many things. Many. That's why sometimes it, the, others, uh, the other things are black. Because previous, uh, previous yes, they put there the tail of the butchered uh, pig or the, the rono that they used to kill the pig, they put it there. But this one, it is a ritual box for a murdered person. A murdered person? Yeah, when they try to perform ritual when there is a murdered man or person, they try to use that. There are many things that are put, placed there, very sec that sacred. That is owned, owned by the person? Uh, owned by the member of the, fam oh. the family, the person belongs. Pungamgan. This is the pun... Pumahan. 
pamaahan where you pour the rice wine so everybody could just get from there and drink the same with there now this one ma'am is the pungoltan yeah this uh this one this uh oblong ball when they try to butcher the chicken, the blood is, uh, yeah, it would uh, flow there. And from there, they would try to read the bubbles of the blood. The blood. Yes. If, or if, it's good, if good or there is something wrong. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And uh, also, they have carved the... Uh, uh, images of uh, the gods, like the Bulung, which is pretty much the uh, most significant uh, god uh, replicated in uh, wood statues uh, called the Bulung. And uh, uh, this is supposed to, uh, this god is supposed to protect the, uh, the rice and the, and, the, and the rice field. Sa Bulung na sinasabi namin, it may be very ugly. But uh, yung mga forefathers na ano doon, very valuable ang mga yan. Kasi uh, they strongly believe that this uh, bulol na sinasabi namin, yung maliit lang na tao na kaupo, can help them. Lalong-lalo na sa, ano, yung, sa mga harvest. Yung, um, yung pagkaalam nila, malaki ang naitutulong ng bulol na ito sa mga harvest nila at saka yung success ng buhay nila. Ngayon buro pa yun, hindi first nga pa tinotanda ng buro. Ngayon medyo bumaybayag mo, mamalibayas mo ng mapautan, medyo pumpumintas mo ng maala na mo ng polman di tago. Kaya hindi ni Ani, hindi mapolman ni Ani di tago at medyo ka sila abstract. Oh, medyo nan namburo handi ya. Sempre nan baba nang handi po ang kadang tang kakadang ay ay dadi na na usaron da nan eda bumayahan. Ya nan urum ya nan abstract me lang an urum am bokomburo ya. Ni igat tang da me lang bo ang kasana ay ayam bitago. So this is the bulul ma'am. But then I we were not able to get or to have with us the bulul where it is really by pair. Hey, what about this one? What is this? Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Why? Parang ano, no? Parang, Parang oh, double oh, lang oh, ano niya. Oh, oh. Parang woman and man. And man, yes. Because Bad it has... news. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, very strange, huh? Yes, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> But what I know of the bulul is it is made by pair. Oh, okay. Is it, um, there is man or woman? There or is the man men? and... There is one pair, man and a woman. Oh, yeah. okay. The bulul is part and partial of the Ifugao life, especially during the production of the rice and the harvest of the rice. Now, before the harvest of the rice, the rituals has to be performed by the Tumonak or the rich identified uh, uh, holder of the rice culture within the community. So the bulul which had been there in their granary has to be brought out and a whole night affair has to be performed before the start of the harvest by the wealthy family. Then succeeding uh, families could already follow the harvesting the rice. Now, actually the story of the production of the bull was that is called sickness. Because the family did not give uh, give uh, or did not perform the usual ceremony before the start of the production of the rice. 
So when it causes sickness, now they have to really come up with uh, the bulur according to the myth. It is a mythical story that they said uh, you have to perform the ritual of the production of the bulur before the sickness will be uh, cured. So that is how they were able to start the production of the bulur. And fr from that on, the bulur has to be used during the harvest period. Uh, this is the, a stool, dalapong. Uh, dalapong. This yes, is dalapong? Stool. Yeah, is that it. an old form ever since? I think so because... Like uh, uh, for maybe... No, no, no. no it's uh, sitting. Oh, for sitting? Yeah, and stool. Do, stool. But uh, do they do something uh, when they sit on the stool or no? You can just sit. You, you know. sit down. Is it's that put inside the house? Inside the, the house. Indigenous and indigenous house. Okay. Indigenous uh, house. Because they have no chairs before. Mm -hmm. So that is for right. children or for a pregnant woman. Because he could not, she could not sit like that, squatting. Yeah. So he has, she has to Correct. sit on top of that stool. Mom, this one... Uh, Just I, an I art. <laughs> some, some pigs in uh, like that one. The design is yeah, I for, I, for, I, for, favorite. I forgot to include in the hagabi. That is the sample of the hagabi. That is the hagabi. That is the rich man bench. And that is also acquired. When the rich man has to perform the imbaya. That is the prestigious occasion of the rich man, rich family. Now, it is not, uh, it's not uh, the same throughout the different ethnic group in Ikugao. Yes. Yes, ma'am, because in other ethnic groups in Ifugao, for example, the Tuwali, they perform this prestigious occasion called the Imbaya three times and they could come up to Oa to come up with that Hagabi. But others has to perform the Imbaya 11 times before they could acquire the Hagabi. The Imbaya is performed by the wealthy family were in uh, in some because there are two types of this we have that nine days uh, occasion but the uh, there is uh, the term is different but it is the process is the same and the imbaya actually is 30 days so the uh, normal imbaya that is intentional because they are wealthy. They have to perform 30 days, 30 nights, um, uh, performing dancing in their house. Yes, they would be having this naba or dancing every night in their house. And at the end, there is the culminating activity wherein they would give uh, the feast, wherein there is butchering, drinking, dancing, and eating. People are gathered already during the end of the Imbaya. Agabi is supposed to be for the rich uh, folks. No? Yes, of course, because uh, you cannot own a Agabi without undergoing all the uh, preliminary rituals, uh, especially the is in Baya, the Baya. Um, you have to Bumaya. Bumaya is the drinking, the festival. Yeah, that's the festival that we use when we call the yeah. uh, a, a couple should um, do the ritual. Maybe once, two times, three times. 
But before the baya, they also have to do more rituals before that. And then once they are in maya, then they have another ritual. Then they can own something like this. So it's really very expensive to do. <laughs> because, uh, like for example, nowadays, uh, to make just one ritual using six peaks and caramels in head and head of money. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to repeat yeah, uh, the rituals. rituals. Mm -hmm. And to have this one, you have to also spend because you have to look for somebody who knows how to make this. You pay him. You have to send him to the forest to look for a wood because you cannot make it from this is one piece, rice. Yes. It should be one piece. And there are also rituals being done in the forest. If the bile is not good, you have to look for another tree. If the bile is good, then you start making one. Then you have to feed the person and the company will carve this in the forest. Then after the when it is done, then you have to get many people to pick it up. Then you have again to perform the ritual. And when this uh, bands come home, you have to let it sleep on uh, spread rice. Then you have to butcher several animals again. Yes, ma'am. Very precious. Backpack. Yes. Yeah. Backpacks, yes. And shoulder bags. Oh, so women would have this on their back. Uh -uh. I know this one is for men. Ah, that's for men. Yeah. Okay. The women can have this one shoulder bag. Mm. And this kind of uh, baskets is for for parang lunch box. Mm, yes, nice box. but this is for betel nut again. Yeah, this okay. one, including that that one there now. In terms of uh, habitat, in terms of where Ifugaos live, um, each tribe uh, has evolved its own architecture. Um, let me talk about the Tuali, uh, one of the major tribes uh, in Ifugao. The architecture is actually um, amazing. There are four posts. Um, normally, uh, it's a small building. It's uh, five by eight or five by ten feet, enough to contain uh, a family of five, all living in one room of air, where you have the kitchen, the bedroom, everything in there. But the design of the native house, it is rat proof because the posts have rings to it. So the, the uh, rats couldn't climb up. And the houses are built away from trees. So the rats won't jump from trees into the houses. The four posted house not one of the posts is actually um, dug into the ground. It just sits on the ground because it's made of like a trunk with still the root, but uh, you know, um, uh, prepared in such a way that it can sit on the ground. But we've never ever had any native house blown away by the wind in spite of the fact that it's just sitting on the ground. It's not um, uh, dug into the ground. And the reason for this is the aerodynamic design of the roof. It is like a pyramid. It's four sides. And the effect is for the wind to um, bear down on the structure instead of lifting it up. It's, it's aerodynamic design. 
but the Ifugao house, uh, since it's all uh, everything in in uh, in one room, uh, the kitchen. Uh, so therefore, you can imagine uh, it's suited. There's soup inside the inside the house. But uh, one thing about uh, our uh, native houses, we don't we don't have luck. In the olden times, if one has to leave his house, he will just remove the ladder and put it and hang it on the beam. And that's a signal already to passers-by that nobody's in there and you're not welcome to climb up the house. Yeah, the Ifugao native house has no nails. It's all really carved, uh, yes, it is made without nails and the making of the house has to be followed by abstinence, especially those who are going to, be, uh, to, to build the house and it is from selected wood. That's why there are native houses wherein even three generations, four generations could uh, really be using. So there are rituals performed in the procurement and the building of the Ifugao native house. You have to do some rituals like for example yung old age na no yung parang it could be pang yung yung blessing to all mga kam up to your ano to all teens no so that's one or also when you are yung sickly kung sickly din yung isa for example parent or something so uh, what you do also is after the offerings kasi then there's also another ritual where you the washing of the mas para pwede ng ganito yung iwan mo so in fact when there are offerings like uh, well, para to post, say, we have to share with my sister yeah, one yeah. thing. Uh, but then when it was open up, it was not good. Kumbaga yung bar. So another, we had to get uh, because another. Because somebody will declare another, whether yes, it's good yes, or open yes. or not. Oh, so we had to get mm -hmm. another. Oh, oh. And then it's not just a kind of pig, usually it's the native pig. It's the native pig. You don't native, just get the, the white expensive. one. No, it must be the black the native black pig. Native. And sometimes, like my mother would say, how do you call your mother's in soul? Yes, yeah. Oh my God, she demanded from my sister so that to be from With regards to wood carvings, to basketry, to uh, loom weaving, of course, it has been commercialized already. And the art forms that went into it were based on, or the products that we are seeing now, are somehow also based on the ethnic uh, uh, ethnic designs, ethnic forms of all of those uh, what we call handicraft products today. Uh, in general, when we talk of uh, all of those loom weaving, of basketry, of wood carvings, we simply just call it, uh, in a common term, just handicrafts. But of course, it being a commercial product, now you cannot help it, but buyers and the market's preference would somehow influence also how designs will go. So that as of today, uh, while we still see traces, or it still is uh, ethnically inspired, shall we say, mga, uh, the designs of all of those products, but there are also, of course, already certain changes just to suit the market and to suit designs as sometimes uh, requested or as sometimes uh, asked for by the market itself. Majority of most of the products that they're already making are market dictated. The designs are market dictated already. When I'm 15 years old, nagsimula po ako na mag-ukit na tinuturuan po, po ako ng aking tatay. Kaya doon po ako natuto na magsisimula na 
i-improve po yung mga ginagawa ko. Tulad po ng mga small items na pinagsimulan ko tulad ng mga telltale, mga hayop na mga malilit kong items, saka yung mga uh, tulad ng kamay, kamay, mga paa na cellphone holder, candle holder, mga ganun po. Saka mga upuan na mga kutsara, mga utensils po. O, oh, tumat handi na pimiksa handi in dyan. Mm -hmm. Na pimiksa in dyan ya within one week on what I dependi na uh, bayar. Adi, adi halos amin. Pimik yu wada na sa mga board. Tumat na yung danag not na oh. yung na wo. Oh. Ang ganag po noon na na uh, konteng. Hey, <laughs> Depende, alam mo, sa parigan mo ay extra na time mo, may trinaw ako. Mga mga saligan mo, mga mga order, hindi pa may concentrate at mga mga order. Mga 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 order, mga makpiyak ng kumpo na din ay design. Hindi eh, nung iyamamin ka ay nang mapaktan, pasyuan mo eh. Masala hindi bagay mo eh. Ito yung mga saligan mo, hindi na idatda ng item na iyamma. Nagsimula ako sa maliliit, eh, napapansin ko naman na at least yung isip ko na yung creativity of my mind at sa mga nakikita ko sa mga magagaling na carvers at uh, doon nakikreate at nakakaroon ng lakas ng loob yung sarili ko na kaya kong gawin yun. At saka nakikita ng ibang mga uh, boss na kaya ko kaya tina tinatawag nila ako na sumama naggagawa sa kanilang orders. So, doon ako natuto na gumawa ng malalaking tao kaya lang sa 6 feet po hanggang pababa sa uh, maliliit na tao. Mabalik po ang kanina, mabali ang kaya kaya wala nan adya adya namin di matrabaho on kaya. Um naigligat aduan ite No, may di permit mo nga umalak tayo, may adi sa makanguno, masigpitan gamin. Oo. Oh. Masapo nga uh, permit kami ng kayo, gatang kami, permit kami, saan to kami paotan. paotan. Tapos na i-deliver pa yung oh, permit. i-deliver mo, what I transport to. At saka yung madalas kong ginagamit yung at least na special wood. Kasi parang maprotektahan, maprotektahan naman yung parang kagandahan po ng item para hindi po nakakasira sa mga customer at buyer po natin. Simple, we oha po on, hindi ta kumit po ito ni Pugo, but ne, we oha met on way po ni. Ganyang uno na. Mm. Simple, di ta mo ya, di ta mo po umapa no, eh, ayan nakaada, kaya agi ya, kaya mm. simple, Adiyak mo umapal, tinin, agiyak mo po, agiyak mo po inabot ng inabot mo. O nga mo. Hindi, so nga. O simple, wala ka na dahil. Hindi lang ano ang tago, yan medyo naraalay ang amung paot. Kaya wala na ang tago po ang kalian dahil. Nakapsut ka din sa bali po, kung po mana nga, hindi na nga maalang gusto. O simple, at hindi po kalian dahil. May tindi pa nga pili eh. There are certain... Uh, challenges that uh, uh, pose threat to certain parts of our culture, like the um, handicraft, the the uh, wood carving art, national laws like uh, PD 705, and recently uh, uh, EO 23, which mandates a total lagban, of course, marginalizes our people because 
Our carvers, the material is wood. And uh, for the national government to impose a total landman is practically writing a death certificate to that part of our culture. Please subscribe and hit the button bell.